What does the world need from Penn? As one of the globe's most renowned research universities, our community has significant responsibilities to generate and apply knowledge, to educate and prepare future citizens and leaders, and to extend our research, teaching, and service missions to our city, our nation, and the world. And so we must ask ourselves, how do we best cultivate a community that will effectively rise to this great challenge? Hello, I'm John L. Jackson, Jr., Dean of the Annenberg School for Communication, and I am truly excited that President Liz McGill has asked me to lead this effort to look ahead and collectively, with your help, envision Penn's future. The Red and Blue Advisory Committee, which I will chair, has been charged with creating strategic recommendations that identify priority areas for Penn to focus on as we plan for the coming years. And we will do it in the way that Penn does best, by broadly engaging with the Penn community, by listening and, and talking with you, and in turn, by bringing together committed Penn citizens from all across the university to shape what we hear and learn into actionable recommendations. Together, we have the ability to help shape the future of our university and to make a positive difference on the lives of many beyond our campus. The work begins today. I ask you to visit our website at www.tomorrow-together.upenn.edu. It will provide updates about the work of the Red and Blue Advisory Committee, and it includes ways for you to comment and provide ongoing feedback on this effort. As we get underway, I want to thank President McGill for launching this process and for tapping into the best possible ecosystem for creation, invention, and innovation our Penn community. We look forward to engaging with you as we plan for tomorrow together.